Hi, welcome to Tony's Quick Tips. Today we're going to talk about client meeting agenda and how to use it to position yourself, not just to run the meeting professionally, but the entire ongoing client relationship. It doesn't matter a great deal how you structure your agenda, as long as you have one that yourself and your client are both following. Simple is better, but it has to capture all the big issues straight away. So let's look at one. There's only four points on this agenda, and the first one is the critical compliance one. Get it done quickly so that you can get on with the business, but it's a very useful means of taking control of the meeting and ensuring that it runs professionally. So first off, you're going to cover your disclosure, your privacy consent, the legal requirements. You might say, you should be aware, Mr. Client, there are some things that have to be done by every professional advisor. So let's get those done right up front and get them out of the way so we can concentrate on you. Is that okay? Now, the second thing. One of the best things we can do straight away is find out what you're looking for, Mr. Client, or why you agreed to the meeting. So what are your expectations? What are you hoping to achieve? Do you have any preferences or strong feelings for how an advisor should work with you? Or what particular skills or knowledge you're looking for? This is the area that can establish very quickly whether you're talking to someone that you can help and who is prepared to value what you can deliver. Now the third item on the agenda is the one that establishes the boundaries for the entire professional relationship, which should be a two-way street. Clients have to be prepared to extend you some professional courtesy too. And if they won't, then stop the meeting there and bid them farewell. The rules that I would use, they're fairly simple. You'll return my calls. You'll keep scheduled appointments, or at least tell me in advance if you can't for some reason. And you will agree to do whatever paperwork is necessary to complete the business that we agreed on together. Are they reasonable requests? Now, I'm yet to find a client that says they're not. Item four on the agenda moves us into the discussion of whether full advice is required or whether they just want a transactional or execution type function. Either they don't know what they need, so full advice is required, or they know what particular thing they want fixed and we're talking about limited advice. But you establish the boundaries of the advice, the extent of the business relationship, your professional positioning, and you understand whether you're dealing with someone who will work with you and will value you while you're in control, all with a simple meeting agenda. And that's today's tip.